Hello, and welcome back to the Life and Diary of David Brainerd, Day 20. I'm Brother Donnie, and I want to thank you for being here. Sometime in August following, I became so weakly and disordered by two Cope's application of my studies that I was advised by my tutor to go home and disengage my mind from study as much as I could, for I was grown so weak that I began to spit blood. I took his advice and endeavored to lay aside my studies, but being brought very low, I looked death in the face more steadfastly, and the Lord was pleased to give me renewedly a sweet sense and relish of divine things, particularly October 13th. I found divine help and consolation in the precious duties of secret prayer and self-examination, and my soul took delight in the blessed God. Saturday, October 18th, in my morning devotions, my soul was exceedingly melted and bitterly mourned over my exceeding sinfulness and vileness. I never before had felt so pungent and deep a sense of odious nature of sin as this time. My soul was then unusually carried forth in love to God and had a lively sense of God's love to me. And this love and hope at that time cast out fear, both morning and evening. I spent some time in self-examination to find the truth of grace as also my fitness to approach to God at His table the next day. Through infinite grace, found the Holy Spirit influencing my soul with love to God as a witness within myself. Lord's Day, October the 19th. In the morning I felt my soul hungering and thirsting after righteousness. In the afternoon, while I was looking on the sacramental elements and thinking that Jesus Christ would soon be set forth, crucified by sorts before me, my soul was filled with light and love, so that I was almost in ec ec ecstasy. My body was so weak I could scarcely stand. I felt at the same time an exceeding tenderness and most fervent love towards all mankind, so that my soul and all the power of it seemed, as it were, to melt in the softness and sweetness. But during the communion there was an abatement of this life and fervor. This love and joy cast out fear, and my soul longed for perfect grace and glory. This frame continued till the evening, when my soul was sweetly spiritual in secret duties. Monday, October 20th, I again found the assistance of the Holy Spirit in secret duties, both morning and evening, and life and comfort and religion through the whole day. I do hope you have a great Lord's Day, and we'll see you tomorrow.